folks, this is Shane. I wanted to give everyone the official heads up on what's happening with my YouTube channel moving forward from about two weeks ago into the future. So let's go ahead and get into this. As you may or may not know, I was one of the original guys back in 2006 posting demos of gear that were really bad quality and I had long hair, so it was a long time ago. Over the years, I've done more than a thousand demos, so it's time for me to try something else. I've also always tried to incorporate original ideas into the channel, whether it be the podcast, whether it be Mustang Monday, Guitar Search Saturday, if you haven't seen that, check it out. I'll put a link up in the cards here. I think that series is gonna be fun and once enough people watch it, I really believe it's gonna do pretty well. So with that in mind, I'm trying to do a few new things and I'm gonna be cutting back the demos about 80%. I really feel like the guitar niche on YouTube is just flooded with people doing stuff for companies and it's kind of taken away from the music. If you saw a video I posted on Facebook, I spoke in a little bit more detail about that. But to keep it short, people are kind of losing track of the music. They're kind of getting more involved in the gear. It's not a good thing. It happened to me, actually. I've been more concerned about my gear than my chops, and my chops went downhill. So enough. Other things I want to do this year coming up, I'm not going to give away all of it, but I'm going to start doing some interviews as of tomorrow. Some really high quality HD interviews here at home with guests. So it's going to be awesome. People are going to get more out of my channel now. It's going to help your tone. It's going to help your chops. It's going to help the ways that you look at the guitar and also the gear that you may already have. I'm also going to put forward more kind of help videos to get the most out of them. Just things you might not have thought about that I've learned over the years through experience, playing live, using different gear, all that kind of stuff. I'm still gonna demo gear that I buy, of course, like the new PV Bandit. That video hasn't been shot yet, but I will do that pretty soon, I promise. The majority of the gear demos now will most likely be comparison videos because I feel they're the most useful. The new series of tutorial videos have gone over extremely well. I'll put a link to them in the cards as well so you can check them out. So I definitely wanna do more of those. They're helpful, which is what it's all about. I feel like just doing gear demos all the time isn't really helpful. It's good to know how things sound and what kind of companies are out there. But in terms of your musicality, they don't really help. All it does is show you how things sound and potential sounds you can have. I also think there's a huge misconception when it comes to gear, tone, and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna talk about these kind of things in future podcasts as well. I'm still gonna do gear demos, but I know I can offer you guys a whole lot more than just product demos of stuff. It's not exciting me as much anymore either. I have a lot of experience playing live, have a lot of knowledge about how to use stuff, how to set up stuff, how to record things, PA systems, mixes, all that kind of stuff. So I wanna get into a few different areas that the channel might not have been in before. I love all the feedback you guys give me over the years, and all I can say is hang in there. I think things are gonna get even better. Since I've changed up my channel, even in the last couple of weeks, I've seen a huge growth. So the community is growing. The videos are more helpful for more people. So if you're into that kind of stuff, stick around. It's only gonna get better. Thanks again, leave all your comments below and I'll catch you all soon. See ya. Thanks again for watching folks and don't forget you can click one of these two videos right here to take you through to more of my content. You can also click on the In The Blues logo that just popped up to subscribe to the channel.